Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best tips for actually setting prices in vending machines and just tips in general on actual vending machines. So make sure to watch the whole video to actually find out all the tips on vending machines and how to set prices properly. And now let's get straight on to this video. So firstly, I'm going to show you another way to actually enter the vending machine. So what you're going to need to do is click F. And instead of dragging your mouse all the way up here and clicking edit, you can click O on your keyboard and then it will open up the actual vending machine and now let me show you some things what are really useful so as you all know it is a pain to type in all these zeros and then you misclick and then it's not 1 million or 10 million so these are some tips you can use to actually get rid of that feature so for example you wanted to put in 10 million just do 10 and then add a M next to it in capitals by the way otherwise it will not work since it is a bit buggy like that but there you go it has set it automatically 10 million and if you wanted to do a hundred mil you just got to do the same thing with an extra zero and say you wanted to do one billion just do one plus a B and then it's one billion but unfortunately you cannot do this for like 10k it does not work any lower than one million so now let's go on how to set prices properly so a lot of you probably know the DV price guide and if you want to set the right prices for all your items, I recommend using DV's price guide. And yes, I know it doesn't get updated that much, but it is a good place to base off your prices. So this is how I will do it. So say for example, let's just use a Kong's axe for example. So we will go to the site and search Kong, and then it will pop up with the Kong Trophy and Kong's Axe. And as you can see right here, 13 million low, 22 million high. And it, what this means up here is the low price is the price you will get people to sell it to you for, and the high price is the price you get, and the high price is the price you will sell it to them. Well, I don't really base it exactly off this, but I sometimes base it off if it's just been recently updated. But say for example, if we go to Ruby Block, I would not base it off this price. It is 30 days old. So I would go to Published Islands and see what they're basing it around and then base it off something around there. So let me show you how to properly use this. So we are going to set it up so people can sell it to me. And it says, 13 million here and it was updated recently so that's in the past three or something odd days so we're going to go ahead and put in 11 million since the price guide said 13 million and the thing is why i go down is if you are overpaying people will sell it to you a lot and a lot and a lot and then you'll be losing money so i recommend basing it down a bit depending on the item but then if people are selling too many of these just lower it until 10 mil then if people are still selling them too many times then put to 9 mil but if people are not selling just keep going up until it has reached its point where everyone will buy and some people will complain and it's just at that middle area but the thing is you cannot just keep changing it every like 20 minutes you have to leave it up for a certain amount of time as every single time you change it otherwise you might leave it in there for maybe 10 minutes and then come back no one sold one no one is going to always be able to sell that item they might not want to sell that item so you have to be published for at least a little bit so that is how you can set your sell price now we're going to do it for buy so as you can see it says right here 20 2 million so what i would basically do is i would go up around 2 million or whatever your item is it depends i don't know what your item is but basing it off this i will go up an extra 2 million if no one buys this then i will lower it down until it is at a comfortable position for people to buy and another strategy you can use and as you can see this just looks like 24 million and i'm going to show you another strategy where you can get people to buy your items a lot faster so instead of putting 24 4 million do 23 nine, 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 nine. and as you can see it looks like 23 million to the human eye but actually it is just one coin off 24 million so people actually think this is a way better price so I recommend doing this because you can get quite a fair bit more sales and most of the other shops here actually do this strategy to get more sales. So yeah, that's basically all the tips for the vending machine. 
yeah, that's pretty much it for only vending machine tips and tricks on how to actually set up prices and stuff. If you want to know what the fastest way to get mining XP for your little metal, go ahead and click on this video right up here, and I'll see you next video or livestream YouTube. And now, goodbye YouTube.